Every day is a day for us to put things in order before we go back home. This world is not our final home. This world is our kindergarten before stepping into our final home. In Hebrews 13, 14, it is written, For this world is not our permanent home. We are looking forward to a home yet to come. We can't gain access to the kingdom of God by doing lots of good things or by being nice. The only way to enter the kingdom of God is by entering it through the blood of the Lamb. There is nothing more difficult than entering the kingdom of God. If I enter there, it's a miracle. In Matthew 19.24, it is written, Again, I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. In Matthew 7.13.14, it is written, Enter by the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the way is easy that leads to destruction, and those who enter by it are many. For the gate is narrow and the way is hard that leads to life, and those who find it are few. I want you to see it as a miracle if you get to the kingdom of God. I believe that if you see it as a miracle, then you see things correctly. But if you take it lightly and say it's easy, then something is wrong with you. If you say that it's easy to enter the kingdom of God but difficult to earn plus $5,000 a month, you sound like a fool. Like there are many people who earn plus $5,000 a month without the help of Jesus Christ. But no one enters the kingdom of God without the help of Jesus. You can sell your soul without Jesus, but you need Jesus to save your soul. Reinhard Bonnke once said that we can have forgiveness for our biggest sin, but we need forgiveness for our smallest sin. Small sin, big sin, medium sin, call your sin however you want. But even if you call it small sin, you can't get to the kingdom of God if you have not humbled yourself to ask Jesus to forgive your sins. We don't get to the kingdom of God because of us. We get to the kingdom of God because of Jesus. My greatest privilege and miracle is that I know Jesus and he knows me and together we live because together we died. Ask yourself, am I not free? Am I not free to sin? Am I not free to walk blamelessly? Am I not free to eat meat? Am I not free to be vegan? Am I not free to be healthy? Am I not free to dance? Am I not free to shout? Am I not free to forgive? Am I not free to preach the gospel? You are free in the name of Jesus and no one can snatch you away from his hand. You are blessed and invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. You believe that you are free in the name of Jesus and you refuse to believe the lies that go against the word of God. Amen. Written by Alexander in Torrevieja, Spain on the 5th of December, 2023.